Hello everyone, welcome back, my name is Triplus and today we will be taking a look at installing Open Media Vault on the Raspberry Pi. So I hope you're doing well today um, and I have this little video for you where we will install Open Media Vault which is a NAS solution or a network attached storage solution that allows you to use a bunch of different services and manage all your storage uh, needs basically. Uh, so I wrote up this little post on my website, which I will publish uh, once this video goes up. Uh, it will be linked in the description in case you need more information and of course all the comments that you will need. The first thing required is to write a Jesse Lite image to uh, your SD card that you will use. Uh, the reason why I chose Jesse, Li Jesse Lite is because there's no desktop environment which will speed up everything a little bit. And note that we'll be using a Raspberry Pi 3 for this. Um, the Raspberry Pi 1, I tried instructions uh, here and they do not work, or at least I could not get them to work. And on the Raspberry Pi 3, everything should be fine. So let's get started. This is the image I just wrote. Um, if you need help on that, uh, there's enough documentation out there, enough videos. So on the new uh, Raspberry Pi, you need to ra uh, create a file SSH in the, in the directory of your SD card. So this is the, the writable uh, part. Just an empty file called SSH and this will allow you to connect to SSH right away without having to connect a monitor and a keyboard. So let's plug the card into our Raspberry Pi 3 and I'll see you over there. So my Raspberry Pi is connected to the internet now, the SD card is in, everything should be fine. The first boot is always the scariest because you never know what went wrong. But uh, on another Raspberry Pi I have a little script called uh, list IPs that is using nmap to uh, to figure out all the IPs that are connected and I think uh, this one is uh, is my Raspberry Pi. So let's open a new PuTTY session, connect to it. There we go. This looks like a Pi. Raspberry, still the default password as usual. And we are, uh, well, we are connected. So um, we have our, um, let's get back to our website or my website where I have uh, the, the scripts located. So let's create two scripts called one and two. Uh, so how we can do this uh, like that. So let's create C, uh, nano um, one dot sh. Let's copy this. Control O, control X. Then nano two dot sh. Um, copy this. So this will do a get update and update upgrade. Um, keep that in mind, uh, but I just recommend doing this on a clean install. That's the most important. So let's chmod to make uh, both of them executable. Let's execute the first one uh, with sudo. And well, now execute the second one. Uh, note that this process will take a little while. I will probably have to answer yes somewhere uh, in the middle when he is doing your outget update and upget upgrade uh, or during the installation. So that is possible. And I will uh, get back to you once, um, once I need to show you anything else. So be right back. Okay, guys. So uh, my Raspberry Pi actually finished the installation uh, during the processing. Uh, my internet got disconnected, so I was not able to log in uh, to my Pi again. Um, luckily it was still at a phase where my Pi user was not disconnected yet or not uh, disabled yet. So I was able to follow up via top um, to check if uh, the apt uh, get was still uh, working or not. But it finally finished. So what you can do now, uh, I have config. Remember the IP address we had. So this one here, you can go to the URL and there we go. So maybe to come back to that, if anything went wrong during the installation, and you're not able to get this screen, uh, try running a dpkg reconfigure open media vault and that should, and then uh, OMV in its system again. And that should clean up, uh, well, everything required. Um, so what I want to show now is that when we go to putty and uh, try to log in again, and we type pi and raspberry, it should show that, yeah, okay, access denied. So that means we're currently not able to log in uh, with the Pi user again. We can change it. So log in in the thing. Uh, I'll change this to English again. English here. So ad okay. So admin is the username. 
open media vault all small letters as you can see open media vault is the user so connect and there we go we are logged in onto your control panel uh, the first thing you want to do is go to users uh, select your pi user click on privileges uh, no, I'm wrong click on edit sorry uh, click on groups scroll down to SSH check it save and then a box will come up here click apply and once this is done um, we should be able to log in okay so if I type pi now raspberry there we go uh, we are back into our pi okay so now the important part actually mounting your drives and making sure that you are able to use them so during the creation of this tutorial I had a lot of issues with that I kept getting errors all over the place so I had to do a lot of research on how to fix this because I cannot remember I had this with my initial uh, setup um, however I approached it a little bit differently there and that's the way I actually did it now as well so once you plug in your drive um, I'm just using a 4 uh, gigabyte USB thumb drive um, once you plug it in it should appear under physical disks um, and what I had to do then um, is actually so I created this file system um, let me quickly unmount it so I kept getting errors here when I tried to try to mount and unmount it but you actually have to well if it's not working uh, if it's working fine but if it's not working you have to create um, I'm not sure yeah, okay this won't work but if you click create here if there's a device here you just remove it uh, sometimes you will have to do a unmount via console um, but just create one here so you create uh, you choose a device which is your USB thumb drive you give a name I give tutorial and the file system as I said I recommend X4 then you mount it here um, <coughs> then you click apply so once this is done um, you should have a drive or uh, or a device available uh, for you to store things on so shared folder is basically the most important part of all of this. Well, okay, the file system is important, but I uh, create a folder on the drive you just created. So I'll, I'll call it tutorial as well. The path, um, yeah, it will uh, show this, but let's just create tutorial here. Um, choose whatever. I always choose everyone read, write, because my open media vault is only um, available within my home network. Click save. Um, let's see okay there's no apply here um, and then depending on what you want to do you can choose a service to activate so I prefer SMB or Samba um, click enable here um, I don't think we need to change anything here just go to shares then add the shared folder we just created um, so you can public uh, I choose only guests and it's easier for the password um, but again this is just a simple guide click save click apply so here uh, SMB will be activated and um, the, this folder will uh, will be available so if I go to my network now uh, let's see where this and let it scan hopefully it should be visible if I click save here okay maybe you have to click save on both uh, screens okay let's see okay here now we have the Raspberry Pi which is the host name uh, double click tutorial and here we have a folder so we can create a new text file hello world and we should have access perfect so this is how you create uh, files or drives that you can share over SMB and as you can see there's a bunch more services that you can use. So another important part or at least what I think is an important part of OMV is that you have the OMV extras. So you download the OMV extras file. Um, I already downloaded it here. Um, I put a link here which always points to the latest uh, version. 
Uh, but if you've downloaded it, you go back into your Open Media Vault. You click on Plugins, you click Upload, you browse uh, on your desktop and you find it here. Click OK, it will upload it. It will start checking for new plugins. Um, and basically what Open Media Vault Extras does is adding a bunch of different, um, well, extras obviously. Um, I don't think I put a URL here, but if you just type OMV Extras um, and then go to the OMV tree because we are on the latest version, you can see all the different plugins that are available uh, from here. So there's a bunch of them that are useful. Um, so I really recommend getting this. You can even set up your own Mumble server if you wish. Um, it's, it's very extensive, uh, the usage of this. So once it has finished here, you can scroll down, choose to install Open Media Vault Extras, click Install, click Yes. So it will install the package with uh, coming with a bunch of new uh, well services and uh, possibilities uh, within the system. Okay, uh, click Close. It will ask you to reload uh, because it will put a, a new tab over here. Uh, OMV extras. So this should contain, well, here you can choose uh, other, so a uh, testing branch, but I'm only using the stable one. But now in plugins, you can see uh, USB hiccup, uh, backup, which is, I think, from OMV extras. Um, oh, no, no, you should first check. These are not from OMV extras yet. Um, but here it is checking for the new plugins, and once you have done this, they the new plugin should become available. Okay, we have finally a list of all the new uh, plugins available. Uh, so I think a snapshot is one, um, but uh, well, you, you just want to look through these. If there's one you need, I'm not going to into detail for all of them, but from now you can just uh, click here and then install and a new configuration tab here will come up uh, and you're set few final things I want to go through before uh, we jump to my actual installation. As you can see here, notification, you're able to um, set up mail notifications. So when cron shops run, um, when your storage is full, when your CPU usage is very, very high, you can configure this here. I know for Gmail, you will have to disable the, um, well, enable unsafe access or whatever it's called. So it's important to know. Then schedule jobs here, uh, you can add uh, jobs, so you can run jobs periodically, uh, however you want, at reboot, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, at certain times per day, uh, choose the user. So this is also a very, very useful tool. So going back to the actual Open Media Vault that I'm using, you can see uh, my dashboard is a little bit more, well, it's a little bit different. I just added a few tabs here so I can see if my network interfaces are on. I'm running a VPN connection from here. Uh, I can see the status of my drives. I can see what services are on. Um, I also have a backup uh, plugin that will backup the config files that I'm using. Um, I have a bunch of uh, cron jobs scheduled, uh, as you can see here. So everything here is basically um, set up the way I want it. Now, as you can see in the plugins section over here, there is actually a transmission. Uh, I wrote it wrong. Transmission backup uh, plugin. There's also a Deluge uh, plugin. Um, I have tried both and I haven't been able to get them to work. So I did a side-by-side uh, -side installation of transmission. Um, so manually. It is possible that these will work and I just wasn't able to figure it out and I had experience with installing transmission manually so that's the reason why I chose that. And actually a Raspberry Pi 3 is strong enough to run a bunch to run a bunch of things uh, together. So we he here have the dashboard, and you can see um, my CPU usage is uh, it's pretty high, but I just booted it up, as you can see. Normally, yeah, okay, so this is uh, more normal. But I actually have uh, two other, well, three other things running here. So a transmission, of course. Um, then I have also Secrage and Couch Potato running. So those two services are also fairly. Um, CPU intensive 
which is yeah of course uh not not uh well it, it's fairly logical at uh, what what they do if you want more information on secret and couch potato look it up um and i also have like a vpn running constantly over here so it's a raspberry pi is fairly strong and it does exactly what you need it to do uh, which is always nice there's one last thing I want to go through with you. So the default password of uh, Open Media Vault uh, is admin and Open Media Vault. Of course, you can change this. I haven't done this on my personal installation either. Uh, but let's uh, let's jump into that. So yeah, of course, the the host name you can also change in uh, I think it's in general settings. Um, but let's uh, or yeah, or, or just via the uh, Raspi config, which is also still available. But in sudo omv first eight. Uh, was it first eight? I'm not quite sure now. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So change control panel administrator password. Please enter the new password. Um, so control panel password was changed. So let's log out. Let's log back in. So I change the password. And there we go. So I'm able to log in. So I think uh, with this video, you should be able to set up Open Media Vault in such a way that I did it. I still use it, well, I use it daily. Um, everything in my house, so my computer is connected to it. Um, I use it for backup. Um, I'm even running uh, scripts that backup my backup uh, shared folder. So here I have a, uh, if you wait a little longer, um, yeah, I have a backups folder um, that I'm actually back up, backing up to a uh, remote location. So I have cron jobs running for that. So it's basically a very nice system. Ever I can manage everything just from this uh, control panel, uh, of course, except for like uh, the, the other programs I have running. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I put a lot of work into this. Uh, I actually thought it was going to be easier, but I ran into some issues and I didn't want to make like a half-half a video that's basically didn't work. So I figured it out in the end and I think um, with the instructions I just gave in this video you should be fine as well. The um, guide on my website should also give you access to the scripts. Of course in case you have any questions feel free to, uh, to contact me via YouTube, via Facebook, uh, via Twitter. I read them all and uh, well if you've been able to set this up as I did I hope you enjoyed uh, or you enjoy Open Media Vault. I really do. Thank you guys for watching and I see you again in the next one. Bye.